pre-shot routine. So we're going through the pre-shot routine today, which is which is bodily to put into place for it. It's very easy to ignore it, rush up to the ball, smack it down there, and then rush on to the next shot. But it's a target game. So you want to get yourself lined up to that target. If you get a pre-shot routine consistent, that will help make that swing more consistent. And a good way to practice it is at the driving range, so making sure you're getting off the mat and back on the mat. So you're trying to build a golf course swing rather than a driving range swing. You practice it at home. Just, just get that idea so then you're confident to, to put it into place. So the first thing is to pick a club. So I've picked the King Cobra Forge Tech Iron, which is a very nice iron. We're at Carnoustie, the 2018 British Open venue. We're in the middle of the fairway, 150 yards to go. So I smacked a drive down there, straight down the middle. Happy days. So let's knock it on that green. So the first bit you would do is to practice swing down the line rather than side on. So you're already used to hitting down the line that you want to hit on rather than side on where you're stepping into the ball and then it's very easy to aim to the right of the target. So as soon as you're aiming to the right of the target, it can cause that slice of that pull. So down the line, always be consistent with the number of practice swings you wish to take. So either take one or two, but pick either one of those numbers and be consistent with it so it will hold up under that pressure. Do a full blooded practice swing down there, which I can't do at the moment because that will wipe the camera out and that pretty much be the end of the video. But commit to that, so you, and then in the process of that, pick a mark out in front. So I've got the red cone as an example, so that's either divot or, or weed, anything that will that will, is in line to the target, so you can refer to that. That's trying to create that border target line to that, that target, so you can see the, the white line, the down, that's coming back down to that ball. So then you can put your feet parallel to that. The first thing to line up is the, is the club. So the bottom leading edge is at right angles to your target in front. Always do the club first rather than the, rather than the feet. If you line up those feet first, it's very easy then to get to the right of the, right of the target. So then, as I said earlier, then come across it, or which will cause that slice or, or that pull. So always line that club head up first. So the bottom leading edge at right angles to your target. Feet parallel, so you're trying to create that railway track to the target. Balls on the right hand side of the track, feet on the left hand side of the track. And when you're stood over, over that ball, don't mess about, get yourself set, be confident what you've just done, and then hit that ball down there. Don't pause too long over that ball, otherwise that creates a lot of tension and too many faults creep in the head then. So get yourself set, like I said, down the line, two practice swings, club first, then feet, get yourself set, don't take too long over the ball, and then hit it down and commit, commit to that shot. And then try and knock it as close as possible. Boom. Best shot of it all year. And then tap the putt in, tap the claret jug. Happy days. So put that pre-shot routine in. It will definitely help with the consistency. So the consistency is the main thing we're looking for. So if you've got a consistent pre-shot routine, that will help get the swing more consistent. Give the video a good thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.